Thai food is spicy? Not always. Today I am going to share one of those non-spicy Thai menu. This one is one of the most popular at all times. Stick with me to see how to make it. These are the vegetables we are gonna use. The amount of each, honestly, totally up to you. That's the beauty of homemade, isn't it? And we are making cashew chicken. Then, of course, cannot miss the cashew nuts. We are going to use around 50 grams and dried chilies, not for the spice, mainly for the fragrance. We can pick 5 to 6 of them for this menu or less. Now, let's prepare the veggies. For the green onion this size, let's make it 3. Then the other veggies, we're basically gonna use a little bit of everything. Make sure the outcome is a colorful, yummy dish. I'm having two colors of the bell peppers left. Normally, we can grab a pack of the traffic lights colors. I would pick those ones, then a half onion. Cut it into small square pieces. Then carrots. Alright, now we are cutting chicken into cubes, just the right size for a bite. Today I am choosing 350 grams of thighs, which are tender, but if you prefer chicken breast or other parts, that's fine as well, as long as you like it. Seasoning with a tablespoon of light soy sauce, a bit black pepper, and 2 tablespoons of tempura flour. Give it a good mix. Now the sauce part, a couple tablespoon oyster salts, a tablespoon light soy sauce, and a half for seasoning sauce, sugar, one and a half tablespoon, ketchup one tablespoon, a bit of black pepper, and this one is optional since I like spicy, so I add a bit of sriracha. And the cornstarch mixed in water to teaspoon to make the sauce a bit vicious. Now add enough oil for the deep fry, medium heat. And once it's hot, put the cashew nuts. This will take a very short time since it will be burned quickly, so make sure you keep an eye on it. and add another layer of tempura flour and fry the chicken in medium heat. Roast the dried chilies. Two tablespoon cooking oil. Follow with the carrots first, unless you like it more crunchy. Then bell peppers and onion. Fry it for a bit. Now we put the fried chicken, cashew nuts, roasted chili, and the sauce. Turn up to high heat, give a good stir quickly to let the sauce covers everything.
turn off the heat, then put the green onion. And done! Ready to serve! Thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and let me know how you like this menu in the comment. For more recipe videos, don't forget to follow the Facebook page and subscribe to Tiger in the Kitchen channel and hit the bell button to receive the notifications for new videos. Bye now for today. สวัสดีค่ะ.